Hi everyone, Nathan here from theebookreader.com. For this video review, I'm going to give you a complete tutorial on how to root the Note tablet from start to finish, how to block updates, and how to install the Android Market, Google Apps, everything you need to know uh, to get your Note tablet into an actual tablet. So, the first thing I did is I went ahead and got everything set up here so it's basically out of the box date. We've got the uh, firmware 1.41 on here, the new firmware from Barnes & Noble. To check this, go to settings. Um, and then you go to device info and then about your Nook and it will tell you right here software version 1.41 so I'm going to show you how to revert back to software version 1.40 and how to um, install the USB drivers and then how to root the Nook tablet uh, for all the goodies so uh, first things first uh, we need to create a magic SD card to revert back to the um, 1.40 update so I'm going to use the uh, transformer here to kind of show you what I'm doing on my uh, desktop so I'm using this uh, from the XDA thread over here. This is the um, the uh, 1.40. So we download this file right here and we put it on a micro SD card. So let me show you how this works basically. So this is with the Windows PC. Uh, instead of having to move back and forth between my Windows computer, I'll just set it up here with the Asus, Asus with the uh, splash top remote. So I can uh, show you what my desktop looks like from here. Okay, so all you have to do is download that file and you have to keep it exactly as it is. So it's called um, it's called a, a claim update right here. So it's it, you have to download this file, just put it right here for now. Um, it's called a claim update exactly like that. You have to uh, have it with that exact name. So just go ahead and put it on a micro SD card. Just drag and drop it. Don't unpack it or anything. So uh, once this gets finished, all we have to do is put it into the back of the Nook tablet. So I'll go ahead and fast forward to there. Okay, so now all we have to do is take the uh, micro SD card that we got and put it into the Nook. So what you're going to want to do is power off your Nook. So some folks are having problems with this method with the right memory card. I don't know, some memory cards don't work it seems like. I just have a SanDisk. This is a 2 gigabyte card. Uh, just a regular micro SD card. It's not an HC card. Uh, some of the other folks are having problems. Go ahead and check that XDA thread if you're having any issues. I don't know. I've never had any problems. So you just stick it in the back. Then you turn it on. And then we'll go ahead and flash that 1.4.0 uh, firmware back onto the Nook tablet. So what, you, what it will do, if it works right, it will do this. You get the end logo, and then it will immediately prompt to the installing new software screen. If it doesn't do this, then there's probably something wrong with your SD card. Um, like I said, check out that help thread, and um, you can figure out what the problem is. I just have a regular 2 gigabyte SanDisk card. Okay, so after the Nook installs that update, it will go back through and then reboot again, so it'll take a few minutes to get the whole process back to the regular uh, startup screen again, the regular home screen. Uh, so once we get to the regular home screen, we will be back to uh, the 1.4.0 firmware. Um, some people, their, uh, their Nook behaves normally at this point. Um, the only problem that I have, this happens to me every time, is that the end button doesn't work. So it doesn't bring up the settings, you can't go to the home menu. So, okay, one thing you can do is turn it off and then do the eight failed boots or whatever, and then that will restore it so that the end button works. So what I do is this. I tap this to go to settings, it will launch the quick settings down here in the, the where the clock is listed. Um, so what you got to do is you got to turn on Wi-Fi because it's usually turned off automatically. Let's turn this on. And then we go to full settings right there. So you can go in here and check about your Nook uh, 1.4.0. Success. So like I said, my end button doesn't work though. So this always happens to me. To get around that, I always have to erase and deregister the device to restore it. Um, and then in the end button will work again. But uh, first Wi-Fi has to connect. It's kind of annoying. Barnes & Noble makes you have Wi-Fi um, connected to deregister the device. So once you get Wi-Fi connected, then we just hit erase and deregister. So that erases everything and our Nook will be uh, back to essentially out of the box condition. Box condition. You'll have to re-enter your Wi-Fi password and then your Nook um, account again. Uh, and then it will still be on 1.40. And then from there we can go ahead and install an app and then root the Nook, and I'll show you how to do that right after this loads up again. Okay, so once you get that set up and you're back here, um, you've got your uh, everything good and go, now the end button works, so if your end button already worked, you can just bypass that whole part. Um, so, like, after this, we need to kind of hurry because you don't want the auto update to download while you're working here. So what we need to do is download XDA NT 
hidden settings. So the directions um, for the routing process currently talk about some other app, but I always use this X XTA, um, this hidden settings app, so we can find it over here at XTA. Um, so there's a couple different ones. Go to the one with the, the it says app, and then it's updated 12.30, so that's the actual app. Sometimes it'll load this, like, this printed version or whatever. So the, there's a link at the top, view full version here. So hit view full version. Sometimes it does that, sometimes it doesn't. It didn't do it the last time. Um, so it just went to this directly. But anyway, so once we get here, we need to download this hidden settings app to enable USB debugging mode. So let's go ahead and hit the link and it will direct to uh, multi-upload multi here. So then we can download the file from here. So you'll get plenty of annoying pop-ups with this site, but um, just go ahead and close those. So what you're looking for is you get the little arrow icon down here, so that's your app. So tap on this, always hit package installer. If you hit app installer, it's going to screw everything up and you'll probably have to um, either re-download or maybe even restart because it does not like app installer. So what our object of is here is got to hit unknown sources. Click that one, OK, and then go to development, USB debugging, OK. USB debugging, okay, auto mounts on there. Okay, so um, that's what we needed to do. So now we need to um, hook up the Nook tablet. We're good to go to actually and install the, the drivers now on your computer and then we'll root it. So what you're going to want to do at this point is turn off Wi-Fi so you don't accidentally um, download the update. It will do it automatically. So we've got to um, block that. And once we do the rooting process, we'll be able to block that update from happening. So let me go ahead and move on to the next step of showing you how to install the drivers. Okay, real quick, I actually forgot to install this, so you actually get the option to hit that settings the first time around, but I didn't actually install the app. So what we need to do here, package installer, install. So there we go. So now the app is actually installed and we can use it again later. Okay, so now that we've got the Nook tablet hidden settings app installed and we've got USB debugging mode um, set up, what we need to do is plug it into your computer. And so we got the little USB debugging mode guy showed in there. Um, so this is where it gets complicated for a lot of folks, and it got very complicated for me. So let me show you how to fix this. Um, just say nuts to this hardware thing, who cares. Um, so what you need to do is, at this point, open up Device Manager on your computer. So just type uh, device down here in the search bar, and you should be able to get, get it from there. Oops. So we'll open up Device Manager. And we should show a list of our USB. So this is what you're looking for. You should have the little Nook tablet with the little um, icon right here next to it, the little um, quite, or, um, exclamation point. So that's what you need. Um, for me, it wasn't like that the first time. It would show up under portable devices, and it just had like this blue icon next to it. And so what you have to do is you got to go in, there's this um, fix for it right here at XDA, it talks about it. Um, so I had to do this other stuff right here. So you had to go in, um, USB mass storage device. So it's best if you just unplug all the ones from your computer. I hit the wrong button there. If you hit, uh, just plug, unplug them all from your computer, then it's easy to find the um, Nook. Uh, then you'll just go over it and then hit uninstall. Okay. Um, so this fix for some folks. Um, it will uninstall this and then it will show your Nook up there where it's supposed to be like I just showed you um, with the exclamation point next to it. Okay, so for some folks, like me included, that didn't fix it. So I still had the regular Nook icon and it just like it was a regular storage device. So I had to go in and do this. Um, it talks about you install this software over here. So I'll have the link to this in the written review, obviously. Um, so you got to go over here, get this software. The, the download link's all the way at the bottom of the page for some annoying reason. So you come way down here, hit the download. And then you install, or you don't install it, you just download it, then unzip the package, and then it's called uh, USB device uh, view uh, right here. So just click on this. Actually, that doesn't, this is how it does with most devices, you just double click on it. With stupid Windows Vista, you have to actually uh, run as administrator, or it won't do anything. So this is what I had to do. Um, I ran a search for me, because I have a lot of Android devices, so. Um, I had to go in through here and uninstall all the Android devices. Um, so I just did a search for Android 
and uninstalled all the ones that had Android associated with it, and I also uninstalled the ones that said BNN Nook next to it. Um, and then uh, I was able to get this to work. So all you got to do is right click, uninstall the selected items, uh, or selected devices, uninstall the ones like I said that say Android, and the ones that say Nook for good measure, and then you should be good to go. So what you got to do is you go back to Device Manager. Um, so this is the key right here, is I got stuck on this point. Um, what you're going to need to do at that point after you do those things is you turn your Nook tablet back on and you open up the Nook sit, um, the hidden settings app. You can just click on it again and reinstall it if you want, but another option would be to hit the search um, and T. Alright, enough of this. I'm just going to do this. It'll be so much quicker. Okay, so you just go back into the. Uh, your um, settings menu here, the application settings back into development and then so after you do those things you should just be able to hit USB debugging hit it again and then you should be good to go that's what I had to do and then after all that, all that process um, it eventually showed up as the Nook tablet as it does right there um, so I have to uninstall that one thing so let me show you how to do this um, now that we've got this working how we should have it so if it has this new hardware thing I just close it it's so annoying Okay, so let me show you how to go ahead and update the um, software. So this is what we got to do. You got to go here first, the um, Nook tablet routing guide right here at XDA. So you're going to need to download the driver's files right here. So while you're at it, you're going to want to download the routing script, which is right here. So download the USB drivers. So I've got them downloaded. So let's just go ahead and create a new folder on the desktop. And then put the drivers in there. Just to make this a little easier to show. So, then go in here, unzip it, extract, I mean, right there. And you have a couple things in there and we're good to go for now. So now we go back into your device manager right click on Nook tablet update driver software don't do it automatically hit browse my computer and locate that file path wherever you put your update like I just did on the desktop so it's um, desktop new folder and then it will proceed to install the driver software you'll get this warning you won't get this warning that's just a little battery warning you'll get this warning right here um, so you gotta um, accept the risks and install the driver software so let's take a minute or two I'll go ahead and fast forward to when it's done okay so now we're finished uh, we've got the successfully updated or software right here and then it will show up in our device manager as this Android composite ADB interface right here so that's what you're looking for that's good we are ready to root now so that is all the complicated steps um, literally that's the hardest part so what we're gonna wanna do now is root and that's actually extremely easy so let's just go ahead I'll put another folder right here. Like I said earlier, go ahead and download that uh, root package. I got it downloaded right here. Go ahead and put it in here. I'll go ahead and unpack it in here. So yeah, you need to take your Nook Zergy and then go ahead and unzip it. So what we're looking for here is the Nook and Zergy Bat. Double click on that. So I'll start up the root package here. Um, this is the important part. You got to show your device here. If it doesn't show this list, it'll say list of devices attached. If it doesn't show this number and this device right here, then that means your drivers didn't install successfully, and you'll have to um, get your drivers to install successfully before you can proceed. So once that's good to go. To root your Nook, this is super easy. All you got to do is a series of uh, Y's and enters. So, um, did your Nook tablet show up? Um, yes, enter. Does your device, uh, your device is a Nook tablet, meaning we can continue. Now, just make sure you want to root it. Yes. So the whole rooting process is the easiest part. It's getting the uh, drivers to show up. That can be a little tricky, but yeah, just once you uh, get going here, we just got to hit yes a few more times. Um, if you want to install certain things, it'll ask you. And then we'll have a rooted nook tablet.
with uh, Android Market. So we get an option up here for uh, installing the Google Apps as well. Would you like to install Google Apps? That's uh, G Apps, that means Google Apps, so yes. Okay, would you like to replace certain system apps? Um, so what this does is it replaces the keyboard, uh, the email, a couple of things in here. So I'm going to push yes. You can decide if you want to or not. So now uh, it selects, you get to select which launcher you want. Go Launcher, ADW Launcher, Honeycomb Launcher. So I've gotten kind of used to Go Launcher here lately, so I'm going to install Go Launcher. Okay, so for some reason mine got hung up there. I just went ahead and redid it. So here we go. Um, you can go in and de-bloat the device if you want. This will remove some of the apps. Uh, it will move like Hulu. It will move Chess, so Sudoku. Um, so if you want to remove these, you click S. If not, no. So this will kind of just remove some of the bloatware. So as you saw like a second ago, my device, it just stopped responding. I don't know why. But I went ahead and hit reboot. Uh, hit the USB debugging switch again and then it got that uh, click any key to continue so we got to click any key to continue onto this select six okay so we've got some different options here if you want to do the full debug um, what kind of stuff you want to remove um, I'm just going to go ahead and hit six and we're good to go and so this is where we get the option to install the over the air blocker so this is part of the process and the rooting process now we don't have to do any com complicated extra steps with titanium backup so um, we just hit yes right here do you want to install the OTA blocker and now our Nook is absolutely free from ever having the um, Barnes & Noble screwed up so now we can go ahead and do a couple other things um, have the end button go to the home or the first click so I kinda like that yeah or you can set it up to go to the double click with the hidden settings app but I'm just gonna put um, yes for now so that's it once it's done it will go ahead and close automatically now we're good to go. The Nook will reboot and it will be rooted. Once we get back to the slider screen here, hopefully you don't get one of these. Okay, so now you can set if you want to use your default selection to go to the Nook Home or if you want to use your launcher. I kind of just rather you go to the Go Launcher every time. So anytime you hit this button, you'll go to the Go Launcher instead of the Nook Home. So you can install the other launchers too, though, the ADW launchers and the Go Launcher. So you got some options. So then there we go, we have a rooted Nook Touch, or a Nook Tablet. Um, everything's good to go now, you've got market install, we've got OTAs blocked. So it's just a matter of getting familiarized with your whatever launcher you use. So the Go Launcher, you've got different options, you can um, long press different, uh, uh, weird, uh, there we go. Different applications on the home screens, you can put different widgets. Um, there's lots of customizations with this uh, Go, uh, Go widget, so like, or this Go Launcher, so I kind of like uh, some of the different options. Um, you can set the different, uh, see here we go, cylinder's kind of cool. So when you flip here, it does a cylinder instead of just the regular sliding. I have different options here, random. So there's like 20 different ones. So there's a bunch of stuff you can do and you get your app drawer right here with your apps. So that's just uh, the tutorial on how to root your Nook tablet from start to finish. Hopefully it worked for you. The hardest part is getting the USB drivers to work. Um, but I did get through that, with, so that means you can get through it too. So um, check out the ebookreader.com. I will have the full written instructions with all the links to direct to the places where you need to go to get everything.